Hey, this is Mr. Mason Man, and what we're going to do in this video is practice finding the surface area of a triangular prism. Now, the formula that I like to use to calculate the surface area of this object is surface area is equal to A times B plus capital P times H. Now, you may see this formula expressed many different ways, but this is the way that I like to write my formula. So let me explain each piece of this formula. Now, the portion before this plus sign here is going to give us a total area of the two congruent triangular faces. And this part after the plus sign is going to calculate our lateral area, which just means the size of our prism, which is composed of three rectangular surfaces. Now, notice that we have an isosceles triangle for the triangular base. That means that two of the three side lengths of each triangle are going to be identical in length. So we have to keep that in mind as we proceed. All right, so let us substitute each one of these variables with its corresponding length. So let's start with the A in our formula, which stands for the altitude of a triangular face. Now, why do we call that the height of the triangular face? Well, the height of our prism is five centimeters. The height of our prism is the distance from the triangular base's bottom all the way to the top. So we have to distinguish between these two heights. We can't use H for this height and H for this height because we have two different lengths here. So we have to use one variable for one of the heights and a different variable for the other height. So the height of the prism is going to stay in H. And if you see A in this equation, it just stands for the height of the triangular surface. So instead of height, we just say altitude. So the altitude of this triangular face is 5.6. So we substitute A in the formula with 5.6. And we're going to multiply that by the length of this triangular base, which is 4 centimeters. Now just multiplying these together is going to give us the total area of both of the triangular faces. All right, next we're going to find the perimeter of one of the triangular faces. Now we can see that this side of this triangular face right here is six centimeters, which means its corresponding side here is also six centimeters. The base of this triangle is four centimeters. And because we have an isosceles triangle, that means that the third side must be equal in length to one of the other two sides. So if this side is six here, that means this side is six here. So I'm gonna put a six here and a six here and add those three sides together. 6 plus 6 is 12, and 12 plus 4 is 16. So we're going to substitute capital P with 16 and multiply that by the height of our triangular prism, which is 5 centimeters. So 16 times 5, which is 80, gives us the lateral area of our triangular prism. And if we multiply 5.6 by 4, that's going to give us 22.4. I did a little bit of mental math there. I did 4 times 5, which is 20, and 4 times 0. 0.6 is 2.4, and 2.4 plus 20 is 22.4. All right, so what we do now is combine these two totals, and that gives us 102 and 4 tenths square centimeters, which is the total surface area of our triangular prism.